What's up, y'all? This boy J. Ross down in the basement, hanging out with my cat Jamal Nichols, y'all. Baseman extraordinaire. Just back from that Gregory Porter tour, y'all. Been all over the world, Jack. Oh yeah, he got that Marcus Miller signature series, y'all. Playing out of a Phil Jones six pack with a nine B. Wearing the uh, Groove Gear Duo straps by Damien Erskine. Also got the uh, fret rap going on, y'all, for my folks that look out for you, boy. All right. Quit showing off. Quit showing off. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Jay? What's up, man? Hey, man, before we get into the other thing, man, real quick, man. How did, how did tour life treat you, baby boy? I oh, love it. Always love it. Yeah, oh, yeah? Always love it, tour life. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Yeah. Depending on the cats who you out with. Man, how you feel now? You all the way over in France and Egypt, all these places, they ain't even got a White Castles, man. <laughs> that ain't even make no sense. <laughs> all healthy eating from there. <laughs> oh, well, I forgot y'all, y'all health nuts. I'm eating me some beans and stuff, bro. Hey, but let's talk about that uh that duo strap, man, by Dam Damian Erskine Groove Gear putting yeah, out. Yeah, man, dude. I saw this strap about, I think it was a year ago. I think they were demoing it at, um, at NAMM. And just trying it out, and um, dude, this as as you can see, it's blowing up. So yeah, you know. So I mean, this is a very comfortable strap, especially for you know, bass players or guitar players that have you know, back problems or neck problems. Oh yeah. You know, so because a lot of people, you know, their basses might be super heavy, and it's like it's just weighing down like this on them. It's like man, God, I gotta need something to relieve that you know tension off of my neck and my back. So now, actually, honestly. Is it doing that? Yeah, yeah. Straight up? I mean, I can feel the difference right now. I don't feel like I should be slouched over like this, playing or anything like that. I mean, I could just stand straight up yeah. like this, and the bass can have, like, I don't play my bass this high up. Right. But, I mean, this is the way you can just, uh... Got the adjustment strap, straps, and, yeah, all right. Adjust the strap in the back and just lower it down to your, you know, to your liking. Yeah. Because, I mean, you don't have to stand like this and play, because I know a lot of bass players stand like this and play, you know. Yeah. You know, but I mean, it's actually a good strap. You know, it's easy to put together. You know, it, may, it looks like it's complicated, but it's not. Uh -huh. You know, because when you get it, at first, the strap is gonna look like that. I'm quite sure it's gonna look like that. Right, so right, right. Like, it look like a regular strap. So you're like, man, what do I do with this thing? So you take that and you put it on the t on the back piece right here. Okay, we got it. What you do? Well, this is how I would do it. Yeah. I would bring it around like this, like you put on a regular strap. Like you put on a parachute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, you you take this around right. the horn of the uh, around the horn of the base, right here. And then uh, however far down it'll let you go to tighten it up so it won't move that much. Right. I got you. So you tighten okay. it up. Then you, that wasn't hard. You put that on, and then you ready to go. You ready to go like that. You know. So. It's, it's, it's actually, you know, I think this is leather, brown leather. Um, I think they come with, what, different, three different colors or two different colors? Oh, well, you can go to groovegear.com and find out all the specifications now. Yes, yes. Me, I'm just a demo. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, if you sit up with the bass like this, you know, where it's like you don't have to be slouched all over. Yeah. It feels much better on your shoulder, especially like right in this area right here. So, now what about people that might not have back problems? Is it still beneficial to them in a sense? Yeah, yeah, so it, it'll prevent it, you know? Yeah. It'll definitely prevent, uh, you know, any type of back or neck problems. You know, I'm I, I'm thinking about getting one of these bad babies. Now, what what if you like my boy Anthony Wellington, man, with all them Federals? He got the big the uh, elephant horn bases on up, man. You, <laughs> He's an elephant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, 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 the single cut. Yeah, well, single cut yeah. choice. <laughs> hey, you know, we in the loop, baby. They elephant horns around. Right, here. right, right, right. But they have a piece that goes on the back. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. This piece right here. So. Basically, I mean, I have not messed around with trying to put this thing on, but basically, from what I've seen, you just take it across the back, like this is like this is a single cut, so all this is one piece. Right. So, you take this. Oh, yeah, I see Hook it, it in right there yeah. on the back piece. Hook this on the front piece. Yeah, I got you. And uh, take the horn, instead of putting it on this right here, you put it around, around there. Yeah. this. I see it. And then it'll hang off right. of like that. I hope I'm explaining that right. No, that's right. I see it. I see it. <laughs> and then there's, then there's elastic on top of that for, for folks with big backs. Right, right, right. You know? Right. Well, yeah, I man. Mean, and I mean, each, each uh, like you can move, adjust the strap to each uh, level 
by its screws. So that's a plus, you know. So once you get the strap, you can just play with it and get your set your height and whatever width you want to right. with it, and just go with it like that, and just have it set, and then you just set them up with the locks, you know, with these uh, screws. Uh, yeah, because they're easy to uh, maneuver. Uh, well, the best part about it too, once you get your spot, somebody want to play your bass, you say, man. You can't fit my strap, dog. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. You got your own strap, but you can sit down. Yeah, okay. yeah. You know, <laughs> you know. But so, that's yeah. cool, man. Yeah. Sure. Well, this is this is a very nice strap. I mean, very durable. So it's not gonna break. It's not gonna break. I don't see it. I don't see how it can break. And then you remember y'all back in the day when your mama used to grab them ironing cords and belts. Shoot, right. he can just use that now. Right, right, right. Throw a little water on you while you're naked. Light you up <laughs> like it's Christmas. <laughs> but it's all good. Right. So, I mean, like, I mean, dude, this is very durable. I mean, you can probably stretch this with anything. And oh, yeah. Break or anything. Falling off a building or something. You can hold that till they lift you up. Right. But it's all good, y'all. Once again, we down in the basement with uh, baseman extraordinaire Jamal Nichols, y'all. Coming off the Gregory Porter tour, y'all. He uh, demoing the, uh, the Groove Gear duo strap by Damian Erskine. So, we just chilling. He hooking him back up to the Marcus Miller. Yeah. So, uh, let's hear it again, man. What, this Mark Miller? Yeah, I mean, play something. Oh, I was going to see if you can do them steps like uh, Jamero and they'll be doing with Bruno Mars oh, no. and, and play that bass like that. Right, right, right. right. I, have to, I need practice. I need some uh, calisthenics. <laughs> you know. Yeah. All right. I'm, old, I'm an older guy. You know, Jamero and them, they be stepping like they the Temptations up oh, there. Yeah, oh, yeah. All that, yeah. So he might, he <laughs> might need that. Right. <laughs> Right, uh, I mean, and this, you know, you ain't gonna do pull no Victor Wooten thing, you know. When, when oh, you, oh, man, you throw that sucker, hit yourself. I ain't gonna even say a word. Right, right, right. He's gonna shoot back at you. Your neck gonna be all jacked up. Man. That's right. You be up there dazed and confused. All right, take us on out, Jay. Oh, man, I'm trying to take us out. I'm, I'm blank. For once in my life, I'm blank. I don't believe I don't that, y'all. I don't know what to play, dog. Man. I don't. Hit up. <laughs> don't nobody love me but my mama. She could be lying to. Here we go, y'all. When I was a young man, back down home. Yes, sir. Didn't know what to do, y'all. Back on the phone. So I grew me some watermelon <laughs> and some cantaloupe, too. And you had some white castles in there, too. Oh, they don't have them Mississippi, dog. Yeah, they do. Oh, we're going to get in trouble, y'all. J. Ross TV, broadcast from the basement. 10 million strong with Jamal Nichols and the duo strap, Damien Erskine, uh, distributed by Groove Gear. We out, y'all. Peace.